Hey guys, welcome back. So somebody asked me to do a video on how to make a cream to remove acne and dark spots. And that is what we're going to be doing today. A acne and dark spot remover cream. Now I have used unique ingredients that are available for sale. And this cream will help you remove dark spots, fade dark spots, fade pimple spots, dark under eye, sunburn. It will help clear any form of impurity from the skin. It also helps to remove acne, not just treating the after effect, but also helps to remove acne, Help helps to dry up existing acne and prevent any form of acne that would want to come up. Now, if this is something that you have been having issues with and you have been looking for remedies then watch this video till the end hey guys welcome back to my channel or should i say hey flores skin gang <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Sele kalio and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for stopping by now today's video like elia said is going to be something to help you clear acne scars or acne spots and also help to fade dark spots dark under eyes sunburn and also dry off pimples and remove impurity from your skin now before we start as you can see i have my gloves on and i'm spraying isopropyl alcohol on my surface to make sure that everywhere is squeaky clean i am also adding um spraying that into my bowls and every other thing that i'm going to be using for this um, production just to make sure that everything is clean we don't have any bacteria i know that i don't really um i haven't been emphasizing it enough for you guys to um be very very conscious when it comes to um cleaning your surface and hygiene on production and all of that but here i am showing you you have to always clean your surfaces clean your bowls make sure you wash your bowls with um bleach and then dry it out and clean it with isopropyl alcohol just to disinfect it so here i have my scale as usual and i have a small bowl because today i'm doing a very small batch of cream i just want to show you guys how to make this so i'm doing a very small batch of cream so here i have my regular base cream um this is also this is my whitening base cream this is not a regular one this is my whitening base cream and i have that um i'm going to be using um 78 of my base cream here is my little cute pad um instead of having my big book i decided to do my recipe in this pad so for base cream we're going to be doing 77 percent not 78 77 percent of our base cream will be used for this recipe now i love to use this base because um it's an organic base and it has so many ingredients in it that will help boost whatever ingredients or um, recipes you want to make now our next ingredient is vegetable glycerin and for vegetable glycerin i'm using five percent now vegetable vegetable glycerin is a thick clear and sticky liquid that is derived from palm or coconut and its typical usage rate is between three percent to um 30 percent but though some people use up to 75 percent or 78 percent but i like to reduce mine and use the the lowest i use between 3% to 5 to 35 or uh, 30% depending on what I want to formulate. Now, I know a lot of you will say, "Oh, does it is it what does it taste like? Um if you taste it, how do I know the real one?" Now, vegetable glycerin is a bit sweet. 
it tastes sweet as well so um, if you want to know exactly if you're buying the real vegetable glycerin you taste it and it also soluble in water now our next ingredient is our vitamin a oil now vitamin a, vitamin a oil um, is good for uv damaged skin and it also slows down the signs of aging it is um it is good for cell reproduction it is also good to protect against infection now we're also going to be using our vitamin e oil now vitamin e oil moisturizes and nourishes your skin it adds um, glow and makes your skin smooth and healthy now the oil is also known uh, um, to reduce hyperpigmentation wrinkles and also just generally maintain the over overall health of your skin and it is also an antioxidant and um i'm using it at two percent now next we're going to be using our honey now honey has antibacterial properties um makes the ingredients um go to for fighting acne it also opens your pores and gets rid of any any blackheads while keeping your skin hydrated all day long now it is it has antioxidants anti septic properties antibacterial properties that would help fight any free radicals on your skin so it is something that we want to include in this recipe and we're using that at two percent as well moving on we have our hyaluronic acid our hyaluronic acid i'm using that at two percent i'm always tongue-tied i'm using that at two percent so hyaluronic acid is known for its um reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles speeding up wound healing it is known for you know benefits like alleviating dry skin basically a very good moisturizing ingredient i don't hesitate to include it in my recipes it helps draw moisture to the skin and gives you that supple glow effect while also helping to heal wounds and also sunburns and all of that now next we're going to be using a pinch of miracle powder so miracle powder as the name says is a miracle in a little tiny bottle or a little tiny container like this one i'm showing you now it is very very good with sunburn it is very good with pimples acne black knuckles brown patches white patches stretch marks it is basically a miracle powder and is very very effective for any skin rashes and related skin issues so for this recipe we're going to be using just a tiny pinch but unfortunately i dropped way too much into my bowl so i'm removing that to save it in another container so i can use it again now this powder tends to turn the color of your cream to a very you know i don't want to call it nasty looking brown but it turns it to a brown color now if you don't want that you can use titanium dioxide to make it brighter now we're going to mix everything that we have added so far together to you know incorporate everything making sure that everything is well incorporated the powders the oil the honey and everything that we have put in so far we're making sure that it is well incorporated now guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please take this time to subscribe hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every time there's a new upload coming from me hit the thumbs up button and make sure guys please please we have officially been monetized and i am super super grateful to everyone who has stayed with me this far please when watching my videos try to watch the ads to the end that's the only way you can support me so i can bring you more interesting videos to help you with your skin issues now we're going to put the cream aside and go ahead to measure out our other ingredients so here i have my niacinamide powder now niacinamide helps to you know support the skin barrier that is the outer layer or the outer surface of the skin 
it increases its resilience and also improves texture by making pores look smaller um, it also helps balance oil production and it's good for all skin types and every ethnicity it is one of my favorite ingredients to use in my formulation and here i'm using niacinamide powder at five percent and it's a water soluble powder so we're going to dissolve it with water our next ingredient is our sepi white powder now i have used sepi white for so many skin issues like dark spots pimple spots and it has always come out very very good now there are also researches and results shown that it helps um, the inhabit the production of melanin pigments by inhabiting melanin stimulating msh and it also you know fades from within so um, it takes about one to six weeks to have an effect but when you combine it with ingredients like niacinamide of up to five percent you'll be able to get a flawless result within the first two weeks now our next ingredient is the rose hip oil rose hip oil helps to repair damaged skin and it also gives a very healthy glow to your skin that's why we're using it here and we're going to be using rose hip oil at um three percent and we're going to use that to dissolve our sepi white powder because sepi white powder is a soluble um oil soluble powder so here i have added my rose hip oil into my sepi white powder and i'm just going to give that a stir and then do the double boiler method for a bit to make sure that it dissolves to the point where i can incorporate it into the cream now before you do the double boiler make sure you mix everything together so it can dissolve easily so for our niacinamide powder i'm going to be using warm water that is up to 30 to 40 degrees celsius to dissolve our niacinamide powder now if you watch this video properly you will see how this dissolves into a very clear um clear liquid that's how you want to dissolve your niacinamide powder you don't just put cold water and expect that it would you have to use warm water or water that is not below that is not that is not above 40 degrees um that is not below 40 degrees sorry so here see how it has dissolved to a clear liquid in this container um i like to show you guys these things on camera so you have an idea of how they work and how what they should look like when you're dissolving them so here it is clear everything has dissolved if you can see there's no lump there's no powder everything has dissolved and i'm just going to pour that into our container now you want to always get ingredients that are original don't go and be buying ingredients that they have mixed because these powders are expensive so if you find somebody that is selling them for a very cheap price you should raise your brows and know that they have been mixed or compromised i get a lot of people tell me oh your powders are quite expensive yes they're expensive because i'm not mixing anything i'm selling you the real deal a lot of people complain that their products don't work and they think that it's the recipe most of the time it's not the recipe most of the time it's the ingredients that you're using because the ingredients that you're using are not what they say they are so to get a better um result from your recipes you want to get ingredients that are authentic and are original that are effective so here i'm pouring in my rosehip oil and my sepi white powder and i'm going to mix everything in to make sure that I have a good com combination or it's properly combined because the cream is a small batch this is just a 50 ml batch I am NOT going to be um, using my hand mixer I'm just gonna mix it just like so but if you have those very tiny hand mixers you can actually use that for your um, to mix your cream together 
now moving on i'm going to be using bentonite clay at 0.5 percent now a lot of you would say ah, why is she using clay in her cream yes this is a very 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 good ingredient to incorporate in your creams in your soaps to make sure that it helps draw out more draw out um, impurities this will help also dry off your acne and any ex um, acne that wants to form so i'm going to add bentonite clay at 0.5 percent now to dissolve my bentonite clay i'm using warm water very warm water to dissolve it now if you're going to be using bentonite clay or any clay at that well most of the clays make sure that you're not using anything metal make sure you're not using anything that is metal to to mix it make sure you're using plastic because if you use metal there's a reaction and so I, I, i'm not can't go into all the science but just shall know that you shouldn't use anything metal to mix your um bentonite clay this will help draw out excess oil from your skin basically give you a very very hydrated glowing skin as much as well as drying up your pimples and um, rashes and anything that you have on your face now this cream can also be used on the body any part any part of your body if you have scars if you have pimples that are popping up your back your arms anywhere you can use this cream it doesn't have to only be on your face you can use it anywhere on your body to cure your pimples or help remove dark spots so i'm just making sure that everything is well incorporated everything is well mixed as you can see i always tell you guys see how creamy my base cream is it doesn't lose its um texture is very very creamy if you want it send me a message here i'm using lang lang powder um, oil i don't i never tr i never get this right i never get this pronunciation right so however i pronounce it please bear with me so i'm using that just to help you know with the fragrance and it's also a very good oil as well for your skin mix 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 make sure everything is mixed well everything is well incorporated now if you're going to be using this cream for a long time you want to make sure you're using preservatives or you're storing it in an airtight container if you don't want to use preservative especially because of the bentonite clay you can store it in an airtight container make sure it is stored in an airtight container and kept in a dark dry cool room so next i'm going to be using my preservative and for preservative i'm using jamal plus and i'm using that at 0.5 percent my lang lang oil was used at 0.5 percent as well so here i'm adding my preservative at 0.5 percent just to make sure that you know you can skip this part if you if you want but just to complete the video um, i decided to add the preservative in my recipe now i'm mixing everything together like i said earlier if you don't like the color of the cream and you want something that is brighter you can go ahead to add um titanium dioxide into your recipe so that it will help brighten or whiten your cream color so it doesn't look this way i am not bothered about that because this cream is not for sale it is for my personal use and for the reference purposes as well for the purpose of this video so if you want it to be a brighter white color you want to use titanium dioxide to um Umph out the color a bit and make it more brighter and beautiful to look at now i'm just gonna go ahead and mix everything together you can see how creamy this cream is and how um, beautiful it looks that's how our base creams are my base creams are one in a million now 
talking about base creams if you haven't gotten my ebook to take this time to use the link in the description bar to get my ebook or send me a whatsapp no message to buy directly from me my ebook comes with a video and it contains everything that you need to know about skincare formulation i have decided to leave the price at 5000 naira and for the rest of the year so you're free you can buy the ebook at 5000 naira send me a message or use the links in the description bar to get it so here is our cream looking beautiful thank you so much guys for watching i am super grateful to everyone who has stayed here and stayed with me this long i really really appreciate every single one of you thank you so much so i'm going to be doing your videos just keep sending me your request and i will try to get the ingredients and then make the videos for you and here is our final product i hope you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up to this video hit the notification bell so you will be notified when a new video pops up and also leave your comments in the comment section i would love to hear from you stay in touch thank you so much everyone i can't appreciate you I, I don't know what to do for you guys but i really appreciate every single one of you thank you so much and i will see you in my next video Bye. <laughs>